In this video, I want to talk to you about a DHCP relay agent. Now this can be somewhat confusing and dry to talk about in a bulleted list or an English description. So what I'm going to do here is show you a little animation to explain what a relay agent does, why you need it, and this should give you enough information to get you past questions on the exam and you will most likely see a reference or two to a DHCP relay agent. So let's get at it here. I've got a server that is functioning as a DHCP server. The DHCP service has been installed and configured, and I have a client on the network. Now, this client, when it starts up, it broadcasts the packet out there saying, hey, I need a DHCP server to provide me some IP address configuration information. And the server says, OK, and there's a handshake. And eventually, the server passes back the information. The IP address, the subnet mask, the default gateway is assigned to the client. And everybody's happy. Now the client's functioning on the network. It has a leased address for a certain number of days or hours, however we've set it. And everybody's happy. But now what happens when a router shows up in the network? Now routers by default, by their very nature, don't pass broadcast messages because part of their job is to keep one segment separated from another, especially when it comes to broadcast traffic. So once we put a router in place on our network, our client machine starts up, it broadcasts out, hey, I need an IP configuration help here. And guess what? The router will not pass that broadcast message. So since our DHCP server is on the other side of the router, it never gets our request. Our client sits there, never gets IP address assigned, and eventually ends up with one of those irritating 169.254 self-provided addresses that basically means it's not functioning on the network. That's not going to work. This is where a DHCP relay agent comes in. We take another client somewhere on the network and we install the relay agent service on that client. Now, when my original client wakes up on the network and broadcasts saying, hey, I'm looking for a DHCP server. Somebody give me a valid IP address for this segment. The relay agent sees that broadcast message, repackages it with the direct IP address of the DHCP server and passes that through the router to the DHCP server. The DHCP server says, OK, I got this from a relay agent. Somebody's looking for an IP address. It packages that information up and sends it directly back to that client needing the address. The address is configured and everybody's happy. So the relay agent simply sits out there, intercepts the broadcast, turns it into a direct addressed packet for that DHCP server. Now it'll pass through the router and then the server can respond directly to the client who sent out the broadcast and it gets its information. Really neat functionality. Lots of different ways to go about this. Sometimes the router itself can serve as a relay agent, but just to understand what a relay agent does. It reads that broadcast, repackages it, communicates directly to the DHCP server. Now you could ask the question, wait a minute, why didn't my original client machine contact the DHCP server? Well, it didn't know the address of it. And if we have to go around to each individual machine and configure the relay agent address or not the relay agent address, but the DHCP server, then we might as well configure the machine while we're there. Okay. So the relay agent, one relay agent, can handle the broadcast for as many client machines as we have on that segment. So that's a quick look, and I hope that helps you understand the functionality and the purpose of a DHCP relay agent.